Hi, my name is Dan Suk. Uh, I live in Kenton. I live in, been living here for six years. Uh, married to Manjula with two great kids, Hema, ten, and Pre, six. Um, what did go flat was because we wanted the extra room. Uh, looked at buying a house. Uh, with the extra rooms and it's proven to be a bit more expensive than we thought and doing a loft was the most obvious thing really um, where we lived and the benefits behind that was at least we still stay here we still got the home um, and just uh, extend upwards I found this loss just by doing a Google search on the internet, um, just just trying to find you know different companies that did loss, and City Loss came up. And what attracted me to City Loss was the logo. It looked quite uh, clean and neat, and I thought, okay, I know you don't judge a book by its cover, but that's the first thing that I stood out. Um, uh, so yes, that's how I just it's just a simple Google search and. The difference was City Loss was a specific, just around you know loss specialist, shall we say? They that's what they did was just, uh, did loss, so um, that's what attracted me to it as well because I guess they may come out with different ideas and different suggestions on how to do things rather than a general builder just doing a box and then walking away. Um, so that's one of the main things I went with City Loss. Um, my interaction with them initially was uh, was was very good. Um, you know, they're very uh, detailed in, in answering questions on the phone, uh, very responsive and um, yeah, so that to me thought well, that's, a, that, that's a good sign, I can get a hold of someone and then they answer my questions. So Deepak, uh, I have to admit is very enthusiastic. First time I met the guy, I thought, wow, it's only a loft, but, uh, you know, he's very enthusiastic about it. I thought, okay, this guy seems to be, you know, really, really keen in terms of, you know, he, it showed that he enjoys uh, lofts, you know, and, and to me, I thought, you know, that, that's probably a good thing, right? He, he's very enthusiastic about it, and um, he came up and had a look, and had a look at the plans I had already drawn, and he said, look, there's something we can definitely work with, there's a few changes we can do here, and recommended some, um, you know, recommended that, you know, what, what I should do with the space, um, and straight away, he knew what he was talking about, he, he, you know, he didn't just take a look on the outside and say, yeah, we could do this, he actually went up measured, had a look around the space, asked, asked me what I wanted to do, what I wanted to achieve out of it. And, um, and based on that, that, that led to a different conversation, what, what, what we can do, what we can achieve. Um, and uh, it was very encouraging in terms of the space we could achieve, because initially um, I was told by a lot of people that we won't get more than uh, 1.8 you know, ceiling height in the lock, which to me was quite small, and uh, Deepak seemed to be very confident that we could we could achieve uh, full height um, and, and, you know, and not compromise on that. Kuli was, um, I think he was uh, very uh, focused on, you know, like in terms of what we could do, what we could achieve. He seemed very methodical in, in his approach. Um, you know, he had the calculations out, you know, who's working at numbers. So to me, instantly, I thought this is the, the actual project manager that, that's going to be managing a project. You know, his, uh, his, his, his skill set in terms of advising on the kind of build and, and what we should do and how it's going to work and the sizes to use was, was very detailed and uh, it was quite impressive. Um, you know, I, and, and he echoed the same thing as Deepak, that we could achieve this space. And it was, you know, it was actually Deepak and Kuli together we were here and uh, they actually advised me to go full width. Because initially we were going to, you know, come in a bit, and and um, the recommendation was to get full width, is get maximum space, um, you know, and 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 and, 
and they suggested on how I should go about getting it done, and uh, which was getting a party or surveyor involved, which is done properly, so that way there's no there's no animosity, there's no uh, guesswork. You know, let's leave it to an expert, get that expert to help achieve that, and, and you know, I'm, I'm I'm really grateful that they did that. So, I, I think so, because it's, it's, I think it's a balance, right? You can go for someone that's cheaper, um, and they may turn out to do a really good job, but at the same time, if there's anything extra you have to add, that I think eventually you end up paying that much money when it comes to the end of the project, whereas the city lost it. They, they quoted me on, on what I had drawn out and what was listed, and they stuck to that. It is, it's, always with, with, it's always within that. Um, if there's anything extra added to it, it's because we've I've made changes. Um, so I think it's worthwhile paying that bit extra, knowing that it's going to get done and, uh, and and it's covered. So so you know exactly what you're paying for at the end, and you know there's no there's no hidden surprises. Um, you know to the point of exactly how much they're going to spend and what they're going to do, what it's going to cost. And I thought they put a lot of time and effort into this, so clearly it shows that this is what I'm going to spend. Whereas if I'd gone for something cheaper, he may have quoted me for a shell. Right, and then as the work is going on, okay, I need this now, oh, that's going to cost extra, that's, you know, we need it, but because I wasn't made aware of it in the beginning, I then have to then re-budget again for that, which is something, you know, you don't plan to do, you know, you, he said X, you've got X money set aside, then suddenly you need to find the extra bit, where City Loves has said, it's going to cost you this much, um, so I had already budgeted for that, and, you know, and it, it worked out really well, I was, I was, I was, I was impressed. Is our is our bathroom? Um, I think I think uh, we've used the space very well, um, and, and the way it's we've concealed it within the cupboards. I think that's that's one of my favourite parts of the, of the loft, and I like the light that comes in as well. I'm glad I went for the larger Velux windows, and um, because the, the light we get now, the stairwell and coming into the room is is amazing. Um, but you know, and just just to add, um, it is. It's about the experience as well, and um, and whenever you come across any issues with you know with, with the build, and as you would do with everything, nothing went perfectly. I think the key thing is they reacted to it and they resolved it. And that is that, that that for me is, is the main thing: acknowledgement and then a, a plan in place to to resolve something.